In this video I'm just going to show you how to add a texture to a flat path in Illustrator. Now you could use opacity mask, that's one way of doing it, but you can also use blending modes and the appearance. So I'm just going to go to selected this path, the moment it's just got a standard fill, and I'm going to import a texture, it's a raster format texture. Oh, I go with that one, I go with that one. Uh, this one's a graphic extras designer created. Now, to actually put it into the swatches, you have to use the embed. If you try and drag it over, it will not work. So, click embed. And I'm just going to drag that now over to there. Okay, you can see it here. So, I'm just going to get rid of it now. Don't need that anymore. Now, I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to use this outer path. I've got a fill already, so I'm just going to go over here. And what I'm going to do is add new fill. Add new fill. And I'm just going to go and select this pattern swatch. Now you can't see it at the moment. This one's on top. That one's below. So obviously here, now you need to go to the opacity. Click there and just go down to colour. And there you have it. Basically, you've added texture. Now, of course, with this, if you actually select that one at that point, you can actually go to Object Transform, and obviously you could use uh, Rotate, but you could use Scale. And I'm just going to... don't want to scan <laughs> scale the uh, object, so I'm just going to just transform pattern, so you can just scale it down 25%, click OK. And now, you can actually just change the colour. If you don't want to red, you can just go for green, and you've got it, just goes through all those, you've got it textured. Very quick and easy way of doing that. And of course you could use different uh, opacity settings, don't have to use colour, but colour is probably the best one for texture. 